Hey y'all, how you doing? This is the world famous Polo Trey. And I'm right back at you once again with another one. On this video, I want to discuss weight. Weight loss. It's the end of the winter. You know, got a little bit of ball joint, a little bit of punch. All those sweet potato pies and apple pies and peach cobblers and eating all kinds of uh, family dinners and going out to dinners and home cooked meals and stuff. And all that stuff is just weighing on you. So now here it is, the springtime coming, right? And now you, it's hard for you to fit into those cargo pants that you had last year. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't gain some balls. So now you got to go out and buy some brand new park cargo pants because gain weight. You can't fit into that sundress like you used to. You went up at like at least two sizes, three sizes, four sizes, right? So now, guess what? You got to go out and buy your all these sundresses. You don't got to do all that. How, Trey? How? Well, if you do this, I promise you, you will drop some pounds. All you got to do is train three to four, maybe five cups of hot tea every day. That's right. Three, maybe four, or even five cups of hot tea every day. Okay? On top of incorporating some type of um, aerobic exercise. Okay? Aerobic exercise. Whether it be four more, three more, two more, and take it to the left and step and step. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're doing, you know, aerobics like that. My highly, I recommend highly, if you go on out there and you speed walk. Seriously. Get up early in the morning before you go to work. Say about 4, 4.30. You know, it's going to be really dark. But you go out there and you speed walk, right? Before you go to work. Okay? Just incorporate that. Or in the evenings, try to incorporate some type of speed walking. Okay? What it does is it builds your legs. So that way, if you decide to say, you know what, I'm going to start running. Now your legs are built up to run and you're not falling out of a run. Mm hmm. Speed walk. I promise you, it works. So if you're drinking that hot tea, along with some type of aerobic exercise, speed walking, running. Now, people ask, well, Trey, what's up with the, um, the treadmill? You can do the treadmill, and that's at your option. But all treadmills is, it's like, it's not like you're out there on that hard street, that hard asphalt, that hard concrete. It's not like that. The, the, as the, the um, treadmill, it's like it's constantly going. Okay, and you're running on rubber, and it feels like you're going up and down. Okay, so what you want to do is you get out there, and you actually got to speed walk it. Don't do no gingerly stroll like. No, you can't do that. You got to be really out there, engaged, speed walking fast. And I mean, as quick as possible, okay, to get really, get something out of it. Because if you don't, then guess what? It's going to take you longer to get rid of that bulge. Okay. I'm only telling you this because I was in the Army. I was in the United States Army for 13 years. Okay. And my last couple of years, all I was limited to was speed walk. So what I used to do was I set a goal for myself. I'm going to try to do at least four laps. Anything over four, that's for personal, you know, enjoyment. But my goal, my standard was four laps. Speed walking. Real, real fast. Faster than everybody else. Okay? And it also helped. I mean, in the Army, you can't have no 
no iPads to listen to while you, you know, you're out there working out. Say, like, in the civilian sector, you can do all that. But what I used to do was I used to listen to old school disco music. You know, um, Yarborough and our peoples. Peaches and Herb and all of them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, uh, Brass Construction. And I'm naming off some names, but, you know, I used to listen to all of that on the weekend when I used to clean my apartment, right, when I was in the Army. And on Monday... Well, Sunday night, I, I, being that I grew up here in Philly, Sunday nights, they used to play all the oldies, all the stuff in the 70s and the 60s, you know what I'm saying, and some of the 80s, right back in the day, on the radio. So I remember a lot of those tunes, and I used to, you know, go on, come on YouTube, or I would go to the, radio, the record store, and I would try to get, like, some disco CDs and stuff, and I would listen to that stuff, right? So when I went to go work out, during the week for a speed walk, I had those tunes in my head. So at the same beat that, like, like for, for Mandrill, for example, right? Mandrill be like, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Right? So at, for a song like Mandrill, right, I would try to remember the beat and I would try to keep my body going. Keep going, keep going, right? Keep going. And what it did was it helped me. You know, your your situation may be a little different. Just like um just like um it was a song um by Change called Love Love Lover's Holiday. Holiday Holiday Or if I wanted, you know, a little something up temple. Like, um, searching by change. Searching, searching for so long. Searching. But you understand what I'm saying? As long as you get that in your head, right? That beat, and you say, okay, I got to move my body at that same pace, that same beat, right? To get my heart rate up so that way I can sweat more, so that way I can sweat it all out my body. What the hot tea does is it kills, it speeds up your metabolism, right? But it opens your pores. So when you go to work out and your pores are even open up even more, right? So now your pores are double open and now you're just getting all that sweat, all that grease and everything else out of your system. And it helps with stress. So for those of you that's trying to lose some weight, this is a positive video, uh, a health conscious video, okay? Um, my personal experience with it is my twist. My personal experience with it was I used to be two, well, actually, I was heavier than that. I was like 232, 233. And I went from 232, 233 when I was in Germany, down to 205. Well, actually, I went from 233 down to 166, 167 in 2005, and then I went right back up to two. 212 in 2006, right? Then I went from 212 all the way down to 169. And how I did it was just about what I just told you to do. Drink hot tea, incorporate some type of extra, uh, aerobic exercise in your regimen. All the pounds will start disappearing. You'll see. And then you're drinking hot tea after all your meals. So if you eat something greasy, i.e. trade like to eat cheese steaks, what Trey would do is he'll drink some hot cups, a couple hot cups of tea, right, right behind it. So that cheese steak that I just had, greasy, right back out. So I kind of hope that this this video helps anyone that's trying to lose some weight. Springtime coming, summertime coming, you're trying to look good. You know, don't starve yourself. Don't do that. Mm -mm, because when you go to eat, then Everything that you just had got out, right? That you're depriving yourself of. Now the body don't have the nutrients. It's like, oh, he's just starving himself. Okay, got it. But as soon as you put something in your body, it's just going to run right through your body real fast. So, weight loss. Leave me your thoughts and comments on this one, okay? I'm cool as the other side of the pillow. So when you go to bed tonight, that's just me right there. Cool as the other side of the pillow, okay? And there's no place in this world I'd rather be.
the right channel with Facebook and YouTube. Daytime and you. Right on, baby. Right on. Please believe it with no exaggerations. We're talking about weight loss. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Okay? Salute to my troops. Salute to our troops stationed worldwide. Thank you for your service. You're greatly appreciated and you're greatly honored for making sacrifices to be away from your families to do what you do. Okay? And this has been a Trey Wimbley production and distributed by YouTube.